Testing sound, one, two, three. Alrighty. Hello everybody and welcome back to Amari. Now we haven't played the game in a long time and I sincerely apologize. I've had some technical difficulties, but hopefully, cross your fingers, everybody cross your fingers right now. We will not have problems. With any luck, anyways. All right, so... Where did we leave off? I know that we saved right next to the picnic. Like, we saw, like, the shadow creature. And there was a picnic back right up. <coughs> picnic basket right beside him. So, we saved real fast and then that's where we ended stream so i don't know how fat how dark this is gonna get in just a second but i just wanted to you know make that little statement um i want everybody to you know like you saw the disclaimer <laughs> i can see my cat playing um Everyone saw the disclaimer about how this game uh, deals with like depression and anxiety and suicide and stuff. And I just want to, you know, continue to remind you guys that you should be cautious when uh, watching or playing this game because, you know, if you you should only how should I say it? You should not push yourself to go further if you know you're having or will have problems. Does that make sense? I hope so. I just, I think the game is very, very interesting, but I do see how, like, us as the player can be, like, yeah, this is a dark game, because even though we're not, like, fighting, you know, Lady Dimitrescu, or, like, stuff of that nature, it's still a pretty dark game, because, like, Amari, in order to get from white space back to, like, when he wakes up, I think is what it is, when he wakes up from his dream... His character, Amari, in white space, has to literally, like, kill himself in order for him to wake up as Sunny. And it's like, and we found out Mari's dead, but I don't know what happened to her. I don't know if she got sick or something happened to her. And it's like, we still don't know where Basil is in our game. So it's like, well, we got a bunch of stuff to do. And we're on the chapter, uh, three days left. I should probably say that. So like we had like the, I'm going to say <clears throat> intro of like everything to do with like, Amari's world and Sunny's world. And now we have three days left. Three days left is Sunny has three days left in order to, like, before he moves away from his hometown and goes to. Hmm. I don't even know if they've said. Did they say? And I'm just, like, blanking right now. I have no idea. Anyways, um. He's moving. He's moving in three days, and that's the important bit. Amari, as far as I know, as of this point, there isn't any rhyme or reason for him to have three days left. Unless it's three days left until we find Basil. Which is a possibility, because like the first thing we did when we like, got to the playground is we lost, like, 
Basil in Hide and Seek, and then we ended up fighting Boss to get her back. Him back. To get him back. And then, you know, we went to Basil's house, and then we lose him again. <clears throat> so it's like, I don't know if three days for him is going to be three days till we find Basil or not. Okay. Have I done enough intro? It was like, I don't necessarily need to say my own name because it's right up there, but I guess I can. It's like, hello everybody, my name is Queen Alicorn. Alright, now... <laughs> I guess I was procrastinating a little bit. <laughs> it's like, yes. Yes. There we go. It's not killing me. What the heck? What are these? Oh wait, are those the lamps? Those might be lamps. Alright, fine. Who are you? Daddy Long Legs. Oh, it's not a shadow, it's a spider. Alright. Alright, that makes sense. We've seen several spiders in this forest. I should have thought about that but it has no traditional, <laughs> I mean, long legs. But you know, aside from that, it's like, well, look like a shadow creature holding a lantern, which I guess doesn't make sense. Unless, well, no. Welcome to the Lost Forest, where you find things you never knew were lost in for the first place. Okay, but what if we find stuff that we know we're missing? What if we know that we're missing, like, Basil, and we need him back? Because, like, he's the sweetest boy ever. Or perhaps they're forgotten for a reason. Forgotten? Okay. No, 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 I'm not touching that. Oh, is that all you say? That's all you say. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, it's a little. Oh, criminy. Is this like a puzzle? Right now, it looks exactly the same. Alright. Let's try this one. Okay, that's the same still. I suppose we all hold secrets. No matter how lost or deep down we bury them, they find their way back to the other side. Oh. What is that? I'm gonna come this way. Okay. Oh, it's a different type of bunny. That should have been obvious. Let's see. Oh, my friends needed healing. But wait a minute, I can't. It was like, I can't, not really anyways, because that picnic basket was just a save point. It didn't have any, like, picnic. 
Hey, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Can you just, can you just, no, you can't just. I was trying to find a way to like pause it so that it, I wouldn't have to talk over the music, but I guess that's not. The um, in Sunny's world, we keep finding picnic baskets that are unattended, just like this. However, in Amari's world. A picnic basket, no matter how obscure a place, Mari has always been at the picnic basket. Except this one. Why is Mari not at this picnic basket? Is she lost? Is she lost? Is that what's happening here? I don't know. Okay, okay. I guess... What were you doing? Attack. Like, attack! Everyone attack! You always lose points. If you survive, you... Down, 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 down. There you go. Good for... Ghost bunny. It's not just shadow bunny, it's ghost bunny. Oh man, it's taking much more beating than I thought it would. Okay. But it looked like the three of them only attacked Hero. Okay. Uh, I guess I should go ahead and uh, heal Aubrey a little bit. Like, I know, I know, I know, you are, like, low too, but, like, until, until we find things. You, like, beat her. Oh wow, that did so much more. How come it only did like 60 for Kel and like over 100 for Amari? I mean, Aubrey. Heal yourself! Eat a cookie. Hero needs to eat a cookie. Hi. bunnies were up to because like there's a person at the train station and they hate bunnies with a passion so they will what's it called it's like they have been giving us prizes for defeating so many bunnies I don't think I can Yeah, I can't check that without uh, Mari around. Well, I'm just going to assume you're the right way. Ooh. 
Oh my god, am I gonna conquer my fear of drowning? Okay, wait. It says nothing. No! I want what appears to be a pebble. Pebble. Pearl! It's like normally when I get to the edge of the water like this, I get uh, nightmare things show up. But I guess because it's already dark and shadowy, it's not just not gonna. Like, do I still have to follow the bunny? There's only a bunny at one location thing. Aw, oh, dang. He only took one juice. XP because worse. Does this look familiar to you? Oops. Missing something? Oh, I haven't been talking to you, have I? Oh my god. Ah! Speak! Trying to lose yourself, or have you accomplished that already? Either way, this is the right place for you. Perhaps that is why you've come here to finish the job. Okay, what? That sounds so bad. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Where? This is where the bunny was. Okay. Is it only two ways? Oh. Uh. Hi. This looks like Basil's area with all the light. You have reached the end of the lost forest, but the beginning of the truth. I will tell you a story that has been lost through time. A story about the creation of this reality. Uh-oh. Ending... Ah. Uh, <laughs> In the beginning, there only existed two. A dreamer and his room. Oh. The dreamer grew weary of his room 
and created a door that led to many different worlds. Walking the path as a visitor to these worlds, the dreamer would come and go as he pleased. Slips and falls, tumbles and drops. The dreamer's curiosity and clumsy exploration eventually led him to a certain world. One not like the others. One painted with chaos and bathed in darkness. The dreamer slowly began, became filled with dread. Quiet as they may have been, the words of malice quickly crept into his mind, whispering lies, secrets, and truths. Powerless to silence the noise, the dreamer manifests malevolent entities in his different worlds. Then he compounded his worlds above the dark realm, sealing it with their combined might. Wow. Yet despite his valiant efforts, the darkness presence never abated. Even with new allies, the darkness continued to scrape and scratch the back of the dreamer's mind. The noise might have subsided, but it never went away. The dreamer could run and bury away his fears, but still has to face his own reflection. What the dreamer had created was something he could not be a part of, something outside himself. The dreamer's own power was his greatest adversary. Knowledge, or the absence of it, would become the dreamer's greatest gift. To truly escape the perils of his own faculty and ascend into a blissful state of ignorance, only then would the noise cease to agitate the dreamer's sanity. So, the dreamer took on another name and chose to forget himself. From that time on, the dreamer has lived again amongst us, simply as an inhabitant of this world. Traveling along blissfully, ignorant of his own fabrication. Children, I must warn you, as with all things that are born in and out of this world, an end will threaten this one too. Though the dreamer may have subdued the in inoxorable the darkness grows still. No bandage can stifle an internal wound. And there will be a time when its influence will bleed through. Forgetful the dreamer may be of this peril, a peril never forgets to be. Yet the end of this world may be in, in <laughs> inevitability. The dreamer is the only one with the ability that can truly set this world free. Oh. What are you? Sir? Ooh. Uh. Oh. Got an H, everybody. Where's my... No, 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 no. Where's my... Hangman game. It's like I have it. No. Ah!
Lost in a fire's flame. Yeah, yeah. I got that one just now. I didn't get this? Wait, did we see a trapdoor? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure how I'm supposed to find some of these. I mean, trapped in a pink cage. I mean, on the bright side, they just show up. Like, in a very obvious way. You can tell that they're part of the Hangman game. But, you know, aside from that, it's like, dude. Is there, a, is there an exit somewhere here? Or can I... What was that? Oh wait, I think that's a... Uh... Is that a space? No. Down, down, down. Rarg. Rarg. <laughs> ah! Yeah, maybe not. I guess not. All right, well, I guess we just go back the way we came. I guess. Wait. Wait a minute. This isn't... Wait. Is this the first part? It is. Look, all the candles and the muows. I woke up, but I walked right past it. Well, they still activate. I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter if I get caught. Because they just send me back to the beginning, and I th think that's where I'm supposed to go. Oh, well, wait. Um. There's a... go back because I remember when I was making my way past that one that just got me had a third pathway that I didn't see before which is frustrating because <laughs> I had trouble with this part oh no <laughs> no yeah Okay. Arg. Go back to sleep. I guess this is where we take a water break while it tries to go back to sleep. Mm. Yeah, because hydration is good, people. It can help your sanity. Get, 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 get. Okay. Oh, come on. No!
I know that I would probably have an easier time without my friends, but I don't know what would happen if I left them behind, so I'm just not gonna. <laughs> ah, come on, you didn't think I'd forget you, did you? That was actually an accident, but it's nice to know that I literally can't go on without them. I wasn't just doing this for no reason. Eek. Click. Ah, crud. <laughs> Sorry, that's just a little funny. Could you please possibly help me out here, please, please, please? If I get caught again, I'm gonna check out Aubrey, what she says. sad thing is there is a d distinct possibility that I already checked out this third um, tunnel area puzzle blah 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 but I don't remember seeing it so if that is the case then I'm just wasting my time doing this for no reason where I came from. You little... Well then. Attack me. Rawr! Faster way of getting out anyways. Come on. Get her. There we go. Alright, well what are we supposed to do now? can't do anything with that bear. He'll kill me. Oh, Mari, I'm so happy. Oh, wait, no. I just wanted sustenance. How are you handling your fear of spiders, hero? <laughs> Huff. Breathe in. Huff. Breathe out. <laughs> You're doing great, hero. Keep at it. Huff. Breathe in. <laughs> Breathe out. Sweetie. Amari used to be scared of spiders too, but look at him now. Not even a flinch. Look how brave he's being. Aww. Wow. So brave. Yeah. So brave. Aww. Kel's oddly quiet.
I don't suppose that actually... Oh, wow, no, that actually healed everybody. Cool. I don't have to be, like, eat and run. I should probably save, though. There we go. Oh, you know, I haven't found any scarecrows for the Lady of the Lake. Have I? Didn't I come this way? Okay, what gives now? No. Was that your cue to have me switch? see a stamp. <laughs> oh yeah, that's why I went that way to try and find a way across. But, but... How am I supposed to... No, I don't want to fight a plant. You know, we actually haven't looked at that book in a while. The, um... The villain's book. Ouch. Oh, I was the lowest health, and now it's Kel. How about that? Power, more. power hit. Can you power hit now? Run. Okay, well, what am I supposed to do? Okay. Mari! Help! Am I something? Am I, am I? Am I? Am I? Am I just forgetting something like obvious? Snack. Yes. Eat snack. There. This place is really overgrown, isn't it? You're all so brave for going through the forest. There's even an old minecart running through here. I wonder what it's used for. Oh, but it's not going to do any good unless I can find the track. Oh, wait a minute. Did I find a track? I'll double check if I find if I found one. In just a second. Let's see. Um, front row tickets. We got some tickets from some lost sprawl moles, and for um, Sweetheart's concert. Rabbit Killer is the one I was telling you about. You grade to slay bunnies for Leafy. Aubrey will be upset, you know. <laughs> Fascinating literature. Support of his books, looking for some. Maybe you can find one in a library somewhere. I haven't seen a library. Weeping Willow's the ghost. Tell her a good joke. Or teddy bear, we can't find them anywhere. We will listen to our troubles now. That's right. I have to find a teddy bear. It didn't say anything. She didn't have anything on the track. But maybe. Yes. Alright, so maybe now, if we ride the track, now that it's complete we can break through the thing. I don't know if that's how it works. But... 
Run! Let's try it because we have nothing else left to do. Bye! So long as I'm in this cart, no one shall hurt me. Apparently. Oh! Oh! Sweetheart's concert? Okay. Now we can still go through if we need to. There's just not much here. It I, I, I just want to check. I thought I saw something. It was nothing. Yeah, I guess it was nothing. Just me. Like, going insane. Hey. Hey, can we activate this now? Yes. I'm only doing this, I'm not leaving. But I just want to make sure that this one's actually activated so that we could maybe come back to this area. Although I guess if we really, really want, we can check on Basil's plants because there was a thing right next to his plants. Go back to go to pile forest. <laughs> and there he goes. And look. Wait, wait, where are you doing? Basil, are you here? Basil, where are you? Hmm. Doesn't look like Basil is here either. Hey, look, it's Mari. <laughs> Mari, Mari. Oh, hello, everyone. Y'all made it through the forest. I'm so proud of you. Mari, I... I was so scared. Oh! Oh! Kind of embarrassing. Give him the hug. Uh, it's times like this I really wish Basil was here. He could tell Hero all about how spiders are harmless and good for nature or something. Maybe then he wouldn't find them so creepy. I'm not sure if that would help him right now. Still hugging. <laughs> oh, Hero going to have to deal with this eventually. These things will only get worse over time. Maybe. Or maybe I'll naturally outgrow it. You never know what the future brings. I guess we'll find out tomorrow when you come back from college. We got... Oh, right. It stays that snack until we leave the area, I forget. But let me just save again because you never know. Rarg! Rarg! I said rarg. There. <laughs> okay. Do you have anything? Bye. Hmm. 
Well, I really like the ones that are like, oh, we are gonna give health to all everybody because sometimes everybody needs it. So, which one do I have? Let me get three. I said three. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just leave it. I don't use a lot of snacks in the thing anyways. Uh, hi. Okay. Oh, wait. There's more. I thought that was the teddy bear maybe for a second, but I'm like, no, it's just two sprouse moles that have just fallen over and, like, given up on life. What is with all these sprout molds? It's like none of them are talking. It's like there's so many of them. Turn back. Oh god. You're so brave! That one actually spoke, but I don't think I can because I don't think the game will let me just turn back and do nothing. Oh, there's so many. Uh. What? What just happened? Wait, excuse me. Oh, oh. What? This could probably be really strong, so let's just stab him. King Crawler. Okay. Are you made out of the body of Lost Sprouts? Do you see his body? It's like all the faces. What is wrong with you? Creepy though, Sprout Bowl appears. Maybe that's why he can bring him back to life or etc. No, we're gonna attack you. Because there's a chance that after we defeat you, I don't have to kill the Sprout Bowls. Aubrey, we're gonna need some happiness. Yes. He eats the sprout. Ooh, he's happy now. But he recovered a lot of health.
Come on, everybody. Try your best. You got this. You can do it. Good thing. Is everybody okay now? Is anybody gonna say anything? Get any of them to talk anymore. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, Sprout Mall Village. Wow, is that a picnic basket? These sprout moles are really funny little creatures. I just want to pick one up and squish it here. Do you know sprout moles really love tofu? I brought some tofu. I, I bought some tofu at the tofu stand earlier. Feel free to try some. Ah, uh, yes, some juicy tomatoes. Would you like to eat some? Yes. Ah, uh, hello, strange-looking sprout balls. Are you here to see Sweetheart's Quan quest for hearts? If so, you come to the right place. This sold-out extravaganza spectacular will be starting very shortly. Wait a second, I know this show. We have front-row show tickets for it. Ah, I can see it now. A dazzling, epic tale about the hardships of romance. Uh, heartbreak. Betrayal, desperation, loneliness. Oh, the drama. Oh, God. This is going to be so fun. I can't wait to be swept off my feet. I don't know. I guess it looks interesting. But now it doesn't seem like the right time. But you promised we could earlier. Please, Hero, we should at least check it out. Please, 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 please. Well, all right. Hopefully this won't take too long. I just wanted the joke. Ahem. If I may have your show tickets, please. Yes, yes, of course, Mr. Sproutmole, sir. We have our tickets right here. Aubrey reached into your pocket. My pocket! And took out the show tickets. Here you go, Mr. Sproutmole. Oh. Oh, my. I can't believe my eyes. These are front row tickets. You... You all must have made a great sacrifice to be here today. I applaud you. Forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. At a second glass, Sephora, you are the most normal looking sprout moles I have ever seen. Please enjoy your front row seats, fellow normal looking sprout moles. Yeah, just. Yeah. 
Wait, 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 no! I'm an obnoxious looking person. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's just the thing. I thought that was another... Hi! Fidget, fidget, fidget. Hush, hush, hush. Let's see. Oh, another quest thing. Hey, you there. You creatures seem well-seasoned travelers. Can you help me out? My brother lives in Sprout Mole Colony in the other world. I want to send him a care package, but I'm afraid of getting lost. Would you be able to deliver this for me? Yeah, sure. I've been there. Thank you, strange creatures. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Here you go. You got a care package. Yay. Make sure it gets to him safely. I will do my best. We sprout moles do not care, dare leave the colony ever since the great move. It was a hard time. Many of us didn't make it. Sprout moles were getting lost left and right. Children were separated from their families. Oh, the horror. I mean, at least it's all okay now, for the most part. Do you have anything to say? I hate Mondays. <laughs> One person. Oh my god, this was so horrible. It was all awful and... Oh, school. Wait a minute! I wasn't done with school! Oh, this is nice and cold. Hey, look at the cool thing I drew. Phew! <laughs> Do you think we'll all still be friends after we graduate? It's hard to tell. Despite all my rage, I am still just a mole in a cage. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yes, sir. These houses? No humans allowed. Cannot be disturbed right now. This room is occupied. So, no. This room is for sprout moles only. Oh! We are two. We are one. We are twelve. Okay. Mickey. How dare you speak such blasphemy? It is only common knowledge that tofu is better when served hot. Are you mad? Any sprout mole with decent sense knows that tofu is better when served cold. Hey, there's no need to fight. Why do you two come to a compromise? Who knows, maybe you're both right. Or maybe you can cook tofu in a way that hasn't been done yet. Somewhere between hot and cold, like, I don't know, lukewarm? Yeah. Lukewarm tofu? That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Even cold tofu is better than that. Lukewarm tofu, I wanna throw up. Even hot tofu is better than that. Oh, that one's just gonna have the same conversation. Back, back, back. While we just watch this pass again. Alright. Oh, yes, welcome. You must be here to learn about the best culinary beets and sliced bread. Wow. Tofu. <laughs> C'est magnifique. Here's your tofu trivia for the day. There are four kinds of tofu. Firm, extra firm, soft, and silken. If you wish to know more about the amazing majestic tofu, feel free to talk to me again. Oh. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, welcome. You must be here to learn about... The best way to add flavor to tofu is to glaze it until golden, and then add a marinade. It will absorb all the flavors until the sauce becomes syrup and sticks to the pan. Okay. 
Anything else? Soft tofu is breakfast prepared raw or drained. It is best for dessert, smoothies, dips, and sauces. If you wish. Okay. More. We're learning about tofu people. Sit down, you're in culinary class now. Yes. You already gave us that one. Since tofu is high in soy content, it is not good for you if you have a kidney stone. Okay. Well, I didn't think about that. But then again... Anything else? It takes 12,672 blocks of tofu lined up end to end lengthwise to equal one mile. Okay. <laughs> Why is that a fact? Why is that something we need to learn? Why is that in culinary class? Dark. I still feel like there's more because they haven't mentioned anything about like silken, firm, or extra firm. So there's got to be at least like three things that we haven't heard about from Le Chef. It was like, we're here for culinary lessons and you better do it. See, silken tofu. Oh wait, I said silken. Soft, firm, extra firm. We haven't learned about those. is a great alternative for me. Okay. More. Firm tofu can be stir-fried, baked, cubed, and just about anything else. Okay. Now we need soft and extra firm. And then I will, like, leave it alone. This is because it can retain its shape and still absorb flavor. Rarg, give us the information we want. You probably don't care. I just find it funny that they're like obsessed with tofu. Rarg. Come on, there's still two that you haven't. Again. Rarg. We did that one. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, now we just need the extra. Extra firm. Extra firm. what I've heard and what I've imagined, it's basically the same consistency as, like, pudding. 
Which is why it's good for, like, baking, dressing, sauce, smoothies, and desserts. Because it's basically, like, uh, some people use it as a replacement for milk. For, like, uh, heavy cream. They use silk and tofu instead. Give it a little bit more protein, and etc. And, uh, using the silk and tofu, I think, should make it, uh, lactose-free. So that's a way that they can do that. I'm not sure, um, about it being lactose-free, and I'm not really sure about actually having the consistency of pudding, just because, like I said, I've never actually used it. But I'm intrigued at the idea. Like, I'll, I'll say that. Just like... Extra hard. Extra hard! Firm. Extra firm. Just about that one. Like, do you guys, like, use tofu at all? Like, my family doesn't really. My, my mom started using tofu recently, um, so that it's a different protein that we're used to. Um, she thought it would, like, mix things up and stuff. And she was shocked, because I actually like it. Like, nobody in my family realized that I actually like tofu, but I do. I mean, granted, I don't love it so much that it's willing that I'm willing to replace brisket with it, but I still like it. Give us extra herb. Are you just so bored with like your sous chefs arguing all day that you just refuse to tell me like the last bit of information? Give me. Okay, fine. You know what? This is getting boring. I'm gonna check it one more time, and then I'll just check on my location. Got one more chance, Chef Mold. Are you gonna take it? Are you gonna take me? Or you exactly one clap. Okay. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you, Josh. Got some tofu. Chofu. Josh. Are you all that way? For your patronage. It's like all the same. at all times. I know I've gotten out of plenty of sicky situations with tofu. Beautiful mold. Look at me. I am truly the most beautiful sprout mold, am I not? I was thinking freaking nature because you have all those leaves, but I guess that's beauty. Okay. Okay. Let's use this one. Oh, a joke! Joke! For the madam! Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? Because it was too tired. Excellent. I really hope she likes that one, even though it sucks. Cuddling next to a warm fire, sharing stories, sipping on hot chocolate. 
Um, and most importantly, taking a breather after a long year. Winter is the best season, don't you agree? I want to say yes, because I actually think it's beautiful when there's snow out. But considering the fact that my state gets snow like eight months out of the year, not even exaggerating, like six to eight months, we get snow. matter which one I pick. Oh, this does not bring me joy. I guess, mm, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll say yes. Yeah, I agree. Indeed. Hunter is the best season. Your agreement brings me great joy. Please have a gift. Winter is the season of giving, after all. I got a scarf. Okay. Oh. Huh. I see you have tossed your favor in the way of winter. You will receive no gifts from me. Oh. I can't. Curses. I should have talked to all of them. Hello, friends. It's been warmly behind you. Faster, Ben. We must push ourselves to the limit and strive for a bright, t brighter tomorrow. Um. Rosa. Oh, no. The number one sweetheart fan in all the world. You're not the first one I've met. Also, very obsessed cre obsessive creatures. As you can see, I lack any semblance of self-control. Okay. It's like, why do you have a Christmas tree? Guess this is my favorite time of year, so why not just celebrate Christmas all the time? Christmas is ruined. I'm sorry! Can I give you a scarf? It's fire outside now. Where did I even get? I got the fire. I'm sorry. something to make the experience of sleeping more comfortable. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, well that was that. And now what's down here? Tell me that was a good thing. A bunch of books. 
but all pages are glued shut. Oh. oh, wait! Have I been checking the bookshelves? For a book for the, the person to read? He got K half. Careful, child. You could have ruined an incredibly delicate concoction. If the measurements for this experiment are not 110% accurate, the chemical reaction may cause an explosion with enough force to destroy this entire village. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I am working on revolutionary technology that will change all of life in the colony. Nay, the world. Okay. I'm sorry. I think. I didn't think you were gonna... Probably. Are all the pages gonna just be glued shut for all these things? I guess it really doesn't matter. to check your bookshelf. Alright. I guess we're good to go. Are we in the... Oh, those are our seats. I see it. Wow, look at the huge stage. Just as I imagined. It's just as amazing as I imagined. Let's take our seats. It looks like the show is about to start. Are you ready to take your front row seats? Might as well. No. Can I get on the stage? No. Walk on stage. I gave up my house for this seat. Oh my god. I gave up my soul for this seat. Oh my god. No, we're... I gave up my college savings for this seat. I gave up my entire supply of tofu for this seat. My love for Sweetheart knows no bounds. Sweetheart, she is a goddess walking among us. We are so blessed. What is wrong with these people? Sweetheart is perfect. She makes no mistakes. I highly doubt that. Sweetheart, sweetheart, she's the only one for me. I think you should watch out. Sweetheart is perfect, she makes no mistakes. I heard that one. Me. I'm just here for a good time. Thank- oh, you're the, like the most normal one. Thank you. Sweetheart, she's you know, so. I came here with my family, but we were separated on the way here. I may never see them again. Aww. Sadness. Okay. My love for sweetheart knows nothing. H is for headstrong. E is for exemplary. A is for attractive. R is for radical, and T is for the best, of course. S is for stunning. W is for wonderful. E is for extraordinary. E is for exceptional. T is for tofu. <laughs> Delicious tofu. This is fun. There's no bounds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Rarg. 
I hear there used to be a library here. What? But then Sweetheart built her stage over it. Oh, wait! Trap door! A lot of stages have trap doors. That's probably where the other letter is. And if we go in the trap door and she built the library right on top of... If she built her stage on top of the library, then that's where we can find a book or uh, Sir reads a lot and per like do that quest. Who needs to read when you have sweetheart? <sighs> nope, 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 nope. It is not alive. What is it? My love for sweetheart and also. Yay, sweetheart. Yeah. Okay. Sweetheart. I used to only like sweetheart ironically, and now here I am. What happened to me? Then again, how many people are actually gonna like talk to all the moles before they take their seat? Like, I can understand why a lot of this is repeating itself because it's like, hey, dude, come on. Tomato by any other name would taste just as juicy. <laughs> okay. Read that one. Read that one. How many is that? How many people are like obsessive being like she is mine and only mine forever and all that. Okay. I heard that sweetheart is actually a donut. I wonder if the rumors are true. Hmm. Sweetheart. Yes. I was worried there was going to be one of those sitting right behind us. The show hasn't even started, and I'm already shaking. Why won't the shaking stop? Because you're sitting too close to the stage, and you're like, oh my god, there she is, there she is. Yeah, let's just sit. We talked to everybody, I think. Let's enjoy the shoe. Anyone see a trap door? Usually it's in the middle. I don't see one. Oh, hello. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this special episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. <laughs> Before our show, we want to take a moment to honor the life of someone who has been an inspiration to all of us, Sweetheart. Our beloved leader, Ye old Sprout. Oh, the big guy? Uh-oh. Oh my god. This isn't gonna end well, is it? He was truly the father none of us deserved. Let us have a moment in silence of memory in him. I don't remember killing him. I thought he ran off. Wait a minute. May he rest in peace. What happened? I know he was blocking, like, Basil's house, but I don't remember him dying, did he? I'm sorry. Don't recognize us. And now, on to the show. Is she gonna be, like, some sort of siren or succubus and she's actually on a quest to, like, steal our beating hearts? Last time on Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, our favorite princess once again failed to find love to fall in love with any of our eligible bachelors. 
a dating show. This time, we've rounded up three new very attractive contestants. Oh, please, not us. Will one of them be able to capture Sweetheart's heart? Let's reveal them now! No, no. Contestant one, okay. Is a local of Sprout Mole Village. He's coming in at three feet tall. His favorite food is tofu, and he has a huge collection of plastic flamingos. Oh, you? He enjoys long walks through narrow tunnels. Give it up for contestant one! <laughs> oh my god. Contestant two is, yep, you guessed it. Another local of Sprout Mole Village. Careful, he's coming in hot at three feet and one which hole. Three feet and one whole inch. Ah. I was like, why did that come out so weird? His hobbies include walking, running, and crawling. His favorite color combination is brown and green. And he spends his weekends rolling around in dirty laundry. Amazing. Mmm, <laughs> spicy. Give it up for contestant two. And now for something completely different. Wanna bet? Contestant. Oh. Contestant number three comes all the way from Otherworld. It's like he just fell out of the sky, literally. According to him and us, that makes him a catch. Give it up for Snarly. <laughs> I can't believe people are literally like selling their houses and etc. for tickets in order to see a dating show. To see Sweetheart fall in love. Live. And now, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. I thought this was a concert. Dim lights, please! She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most... Ooh, God. Beauteous face. <laughs> yes. You know who we're talking about. She's all that <laughs> is amazing and wonderful, and she's just about to set foot on this very stage. Please give it a big warm welcome to the one, the only, the magnificent, sweet ha How did lightning... Dude. Oh! Dude! Oh no, there's a blackout. Now what must we do? I have to know what happens next. Let's wait it out. I'm sure the sprout moles will get the power back on in no time. But you see, if if they can't see and they they get lost. Help, we don't know what to do. Help, we don't know what to do either. Help, 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 help! <laughs> oh god well maybe we should look around just in case <laughs> help dude oh I wanted to talk to the contestants. And, you know, the host. Okay, wait. Is there, like, a door I don't see? I guess not. 
Well, I guess this blackout affected the all of Sprout Mall Village, too. Kira, what do we do now? Don't worry, Aubrey. This is where my handyman experience comes into play. In cases like this, we should probably be looking for some kind of backup generator. Backup Why not? to say about the blackout, you're in complete darkness and you're like, hey, need help! Well, I guess I should probably save again. Backup generator, backup generator. Would it be up here? Oh, no, 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 that was the out. Okay, backup generator, backup generator. Oh, wait, the plug! That's probably the generator. Let's see, plug, 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 I think that's... Wait, are you still here, obsessive with flamingos? No. Pick up the pace, boys. We must make hustle. We must make haste. We're trying our best, Warden. This is as fast as we can go. Why isn't this working? I feel sick. Just keep running, moles. Nothing gets done without a little sweat. Probably a C, yeah. The wire isn't plugged into the outlet. Plug it in, yes. Why is that glittering now? What did I say, moles? Hard work pays off. Now keep running. Huff, huff, huff. You want to exercise with your friends, I guess. I guess. Oh, wow, Kel is so fast. Look how fast Kel is. Oh, Hero, are you okay? I think I I I I I think Hero's done. I, I think Hero's done. I never know how long to wait for those things, because I feel like something's supposed to happen. Alright. Alright, I guess we go back to the concert, because we basically checked out everything here anyways. Oh, right. Who are you? Someone please help me. I'm in need of a handsome young gentleman. You, yes, me. You there, in the striped pants. Uh-oh. You magnificent beast. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yes, you look like you'll do just fine. Oh, God, why? Huh? Wow, uh, why, thank you. I don't know what to say. Please, kind sir, will you help a poor, lowly mole? I'm desperate in need of your service. Don't put him in the show. Well, since you asked no li nicely, how can I refuse? Thank you, thank you, lad. You are too generous. Please, come this way now. Chop, chop. No. Wait, hold on. Can my friends come too? Ah, yes, your friends. You are all here to see, see Sweetheart's Quest, yes? If so, you will all meet again soon enough. I don't want to lose another friend! Now come here. Ooh. 
Arrow left the party. No! But... Uh, I guess we just sit in our seats and then watch him come out on stage being like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna date Hero. I'm sweetheart now. Because that person from Otherworld just got murdered by lightning. What you gotta say now? Greetings, sweetheart fans. We apologize for the short intermission. Welcome back to regularly scheduled program. During the break, we regret to inform you that a tragic accident has occurred right here on this very stage. Oh, we get those pictures so fast. It is at this time we announce the sudden loss of contestant number three. We will remember him fondly for the few seconds that we got to know him. He was truly a unique and irreplaceable soul. Want to bet? I mean, just because they replaced him. But the soul mu show must go on. Please give a warm welcome to our new contestant three. Hailing all the way from the vast forest. It's our hero in shining armor. Oh, poor boy. Oh, get this, guys. Heroes are real hunks, standing at a whopping five foot seven. Wow, you guys are taller than I thought. Passions include baking, cooking, and cleaning, and if that doesn't sound like the perfect man, check out his killer smile and mild personality. Is that a compliment? And now, once again, it is time to introduce the star of the show. Dim the lights, please. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that again. Yes. You know who we're talking about. She's amazing and wonderful, and she's about to step foot on this very stage. The one, the only, the magnificent! <laughs> oh, God. Ah! Uh, you would go so well with Pluto. Have you ever met Pluto? I have a feeling you'd want to date Pluto. Just, you know, sweetheart, just like, take a moment, stop the, like, just stop the dating show. There's someone I want you to meet. You guys can laugh together for, like, literally all of eternity. He can take you wherever he want, where you want. It's not a quest for heart, it's a quest for, like, stars. Like, go everywhere, go around the universe. He has his own travel agency, like, he's evading the law. It's like, you know, I, I, I think, I think you got something there, you know. Oh, God. An excellent intro. Entrance, my liege. Ah, uh, yes. It is me. Hello, my stupid, adoring fans. We love you, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, you're the best. Oh, oh, oh. We are. We have brought three of the best bachelors in the world onto this stage. Will today be the day that one of them steals your heart? Love Pluto. I'm telling you now, she's gotta love Pluto. Let's start with some questions. One thing that Sweetheart values most in a companion is complete and absolute obedience. Oh my god, boyfriend is better off. Do you, Contestant 1, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Contestant 1, what is your answer? Uh, sure. I don't know. I guess. Playing hard again, I see. What do you think about that response, Sweetheart? Hmm, just three feet tall. Oh, she's so gonna love Pluto, because he's a monster tall. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Let's think about this. If Hero 
is, you know, five and a half feet. Just easy math. And Pluto is at is two, maybe two and a half heroes. So that's 11 feet and uh, for double and that'd make him close to like 13, 14 feet tall. You want, I know a guy who's tall. I know a guy who's like 14 feet tall. It's perfect for you, sweetheart. <laughs> Just pretty tall. My, that is much too short. Send him off to the dungeon. What? Since when do you have that authority? Hey, what do you say? The dungeon? Why does she have access to this? Is she a legit princess? Help me! Bible. Now on a contestant two, we ask you the same question. There's no right or wrong answer, just answer truthfully. Contestant number two, will you pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Um, sure. If it means I won't get sent to the dungeon, yeah, but you're still short. My word, this one is being... This one's very being offends me. Take him away, boys. Oh. Why are you sending all these people to the dungeon? They can't help how tall they are. Stop looking for mole creatures to date. Contestant number three, it looks like you're the last one standing. I'll ask you the same question one more time. Again, no pressure at all. Do you, hero, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? No. Well, no. That doesn't seem fair at all. Why would I do that? My, this one, is absolutely immaculate. Could it be a Sweetheart? No. In love? No! 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 Keep your hands off Hero, you little... You little... <sighs> what an exciting turn of events! This must be a fate, a match made in heaven. Wait, but I just said, ah, uh, yes, yes, you'll do just fine. Now, what was your name again? Huh? It's, a uh, here it's Hero, ma'am. Hero, my hero, we must go into my chambers at once. T don't you touch him. I will have Aubrey beat you with a bat. Guards, I have chosen my suitor. No, take him away, no! Get your hands off him! Guys! Please, <laughs> guys, please do something. Oh, Hero's gonna marry Sweetheart? No. I didn't see that one coming at all. Kel, what are you saying? We have to help him. What do you want me to do about it? I don't want to go to the dungeon. Ugh, Kel, you're so useless. Hero, you have to reject Sweetheart. It's time, hero. Your princess awaits. Whoa, you're gonna love Pluto. Um, I don't think she's gonna listen to me. Just do it already. Okay, I'll try. No touching. Excuse me, sweetheart, ma'am. Ah, uh, yes, my lovely hero. How I yearn for the sound of your sweet voice. Say my name again. Wow, haha, <laughs> that's so nice of you. I mean... <coughs> Uh, why do I have to do this? Ahem. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm not interested. Why? Whatever you do mean, my prince. I, uh, this is all really flattering and all, but, you know, we only just met, like, a few moments ago, and, well, I have to reject your, um, offer. Oh my god, you're so gonna be, like, like, obsessed with Pluto. They, their, their demeanors are just so... <clears throat> oh, Pish Paws. Oh, don't be silly, Hero. I've never heard anything silly. It, it's true. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but... I don't want to marry you. Ooh. Ooh. 
this. This is preposterous. No, this, this is blasphemy. You dare reject Sweetheart? Everyone loves Sweetheart, you hear me? Everyone, every mole creature, maybe. Send him off to the dungeon. Hey, stop right there. You can't take Hero, he belongs to us. With us. What's this now? What is a non-Sweetheart fan doing in the audience? Ah, I see. You must be Heroes fans. The nerve of you lot. First you make a fool out of me, then you interrupt me bringing... during my own show. I'm the one who makes the rules around here. Gods, take them away! Uh... Huh. Now you've done it, Aubrey. This is gonna be fun. Oh. Oh man. Now we're all stuck in the dungeon. I'm sorry guys, it's my fault that we're in this mess. No it's not, Hero. No one could have predicted that would happen. Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho! You fools! Don't you recognize me? It's me! Oh, the most obsessive fan. Rosa! <laughs> the number one sweetheart fan in all the world. You got, you, people gotta stop saying that. I told you that you'd all pay for crossing me. Curses, we have been bamboozled. I should have known you were behind this, Rosa. It is true what they say, revenge is sweet. Now rot, you peons. Rot in the dungeon forever. Ho, ho, ho. I don't remember her laughing like that. You know if you're number one sweetheart fan, maybe you should go out with her. Just saying. Dang it. How are we gonna get out of here? We'll find a way. Come on guys, let's think about this. Where do we even start? It's not like they just leave the gate unlocked. Would they, though? Would they? <laughs> ha! Yeah. <laughs> You're cute! I totally buy a stuffed animal on that for blue. Look, it's cute, but it's a sword, so it's dangerous, kid. Goodbye, Harold. Yeah. Oh, you're not as strong as I thought you were. Harold. See you again. I'm betting. All right. Nachos. Ah. Oh, trap door. I think. Mari, help us, we're stuck in the dungeon. Oh no. Oh, there you go. Now come here and enjoy a nice picnic with me. I promise you'll feel better right away. Aww. Is it sad that I kind of want to go back and be like, did I get everything I was supposed to there? All right, fine. Let's, let's go ahead and enjoy a nice picnic. 
Take a moment and savor the picnic. <laughs> Hero, I have a question for you. <laughs> Was there any chance in the world that you would have said yes to marrying Sweetheart? What? No way! You know I only have eyes for you, Mari. Oh. <laughs> oh boy, 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 boy. Ew! It is not. Well, maybe because it's your brother. It was right, Kel. Oh, come on. Hero, it's not what I like about you at all. What? It's not. Then what is it? I can't tell you that, silly. It would ruin the magic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, they're so cute. I don't really get it. But whatever you say, <laughs> you're adorable. Mari, you don't have to worry about Sweetheart at all. Sweetheart is the worst. I can't imagine anyone being in love with her. Pluto might. Wasn't she with Captain Space Boy, though? Huh. Relationships like that are just shallow. You can't compare it to the real dear deal like what me and Amari have. Aw, you love me? Isn't that right, Amari? I don't talk. Amari? I no speak. Well then, okay. What is this? Pickles. Oh. Oh! Oh! I was sent to the dungeon for smuggling, but old habits die hard. That said, I've got some choice goods for sale, patron. Any... <laughs> Interest in buying? That's all I should get. Oh, she can break those? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I break everything. so hard to do it before. But do you even want to fight? I'll give you the chance to run away. It was a poor little creature that had like an axe like taped to his body. Oh no, what are we going to do? No one has ever escapes the dungeon. Which is surprising if they never lock their doors. It's not alive. I know I can just defeat him real fast, but I would much rather um, avoid them. Oh, okay. Hell, we desperately need you.
I'm not here. What is this? That is not fruit punch. Uh. to fight them. I can just run. Why? Fine. Be that way! Little know-it-alls. I'm not Amari. Go away. I don't wanna. Sorry, Harold. I, I I don't mean anything by it. Harold's the only one getting attacked.
I don't want you. Let's try your door. What just happened? Countless failures. I have almost made my escape. All I need to do now is find the exit. How am I supposed to hit that button if you're in the way? Yeah. Oh, Kel. the staircase. Oh, this is one that's not open. Hey, wait, why did they come back? stuck down here so long, I feel I can barely move a muscle. Eh? What's that face for? I could tell you, but I'd rather not. Curses. No, 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 no. Down! Rargh! that. And those things respond, so I guess it really doesn't matter if I tab them or not. Oh yeah, it wasn't that one. Come on. Wasn't that one? Which one was it? Huh. Oh! You little why? Can I check this one? Thank you. 
Did I check out the staircase that was right next to Amari? I mean, Amari. I did. Come on. Ooh. Hot tofu. Yay. some money. Hmm. Hey, look there. We're finally at the exit. How? We still have like a button we haven't hit. Woohoo, freedom at last. Let's get out of here. I never want to see another sprout mulligan in my- Wait! 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 Turn back! Huh. Well... Yeah. She's a princess. How about that? I thought she was just a superstar. No, she's a- Ouch. The touch. Halt! Prisoners! Do you really think you could escape that easily? It's back to the dungeons for you. Darn, and we were so close, too. Uh-oh, what do we do now? Think, hero, think. Come on, how do we get out of this? Oh, I got it. Ahem. On the contrary, Sir Knight, I think you have mistaken us for someone else. Hmm, yes. Oh, because we're wearing masks. Ahem. Don't be so quick to judge. We are sprout moles, indubitably. Woohoo, indeed. Yes, quite. I am also a lover of tofu and sweetheart. Mmm, delicious sweet, I mean, tofu. Egad, my eyes must have deceived me. I apologize, brethren. It is hard to see through the, this helmet. Yes, very well, carry on. I will resume my patrol. I ought to return to... You ought to return to your stations as well, at least our dear sweetheart notices. That was that for quick thinking. That was so smooth, hero. With these sprout mole masks, we'll be able to make it out of here in a cinch. Do you really think we have to keep wearing these, hero? Mine's kind of itchy. Yes, Kel, we should keep them on until we get out of here. Come on, let's move. Okay, wait, no. Wait, no. I'm still wearing it. It's fine. But I, I'm pretty sure there's, like, another button I'm supposed to hit. Because, like, how come I can't get this one? Well, maybe I can come back. Maybe that button hits that. Well, let's see. If I'm right... And then it has something. Exit, exit. I want to look around. Just a bit. 
giving off some legit, like, Red Queen vibes. Yes, throw a clam in, because why not? You know, why do they have, like, just throwing the money away? Look at the size of this crowd. We'll never get through at this rate. Let's look around for another exit. Well, maybe the crowd will die down eventually. We should come check back here later. a room oh cool look at this seems straightforward oh wait oh my god You are brave to speak to me, young ones. Tell me, are you enjoying Sweetheart's castle? That girl, she was an elaborate one. This darling, it takes the shape of one's ditches. Did I say darling? This dwelling, it takes the shape of one's deepest desires. <laughs> A place to return to, somewhere to call home. Sweetheart came to me a long time ago, a poor girl from the desert, and begged me on her hands and knees to make this place hers. I gave her what she desired, a castle full of riches, servants for her to command, a stage for her to flaunt her power. Yet she still wants more. It must be a curse. Soon she will leave and not return. I know this. And when I have dreamed that she has found her home elsewhere, I will look for a new owner. At that time, return to me. You with the empty eyes. Uh-oh. Your soul is split, but you can only choose one path. It will be interesting to see what you will make of this dwelling. Eek. Okay. I wasn't expecting all that. So basically, this entire thing is like Sweetheart's Illusion. Which is really interesting. Not sure what to do with that information, though. Look! Hey! Hey! Is that a person that looks like we heard, or a portrait of Sweetheart? Better find some books. A long line. I'm clicking 
working on different ones. Why are they all the same? Okay, this one's in a yellow dress. Nope. Oh, come on, this is the library. One of these books has to be perfect for the reader. Oh, hi. Well, it's been a while since I've seen you four. What? Up to no good again, I presume? <laughs> Probably. Have you learned your lessons about venturing out of the tunnels? Next time you won't be so lucky. Okay. something. There's gotta be something. That one's glittering. I don't know what I've been told. Sweetheart's love is good as gold. Can you move? That one's glittering. That might be the book I need. say the same thing. Exactly, is everyone 